welcome to Old School Tech. Today we're going to build a kind of catapult called an onager. To do this, you're going to need about 17 popsicle sticks. And you're going to need a variety of rubber bands. You also need a plastic spoon to serve as the arm of your catapult. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to assemble four popsicle sticks in a stack and surround them with two rubber bands. And then you make another stack just like that. So once you get two stacks of four, then you're going to assemble the rest of the frame. The idea is that these will make a square with these, but they're going to have a gap in between these, so we're only going to use two on each side because we're going to need to put a rubber band through them. So you put one popsicle stick underneath the top one here and another one underneath the bottom. And do the same for the other side. And then you're going to want to put your square together by putting these in the same position over here. So it looks like this. And then you take the rubber bands and scoot them to the outside. So once you get your frame together and you've kind of squared up, you can put some supporting rubber bands over here going diagonally. And you can do that on all four sides. So once you get the frame made, you're ready to start putting the bands through this little gap right here. We use the bigger bands for this. We'll start feeding it through the gap. Once we get it through over here, we're going to use a popsicle stick to kind of hold it in place. And then you got to pull it really tight to get to go through the other side. You may have to kind of shove it through using another popsicle stick. So you get it, popsicle six kind of square like this. And then you're going to want to do the same thing with another rubber band. The first time I did it, I didn't use two rubber bands. It worked okay, but it gives it more power if you use two. Now these are the rubber bands we're going to twist to give our onager the torsion power that it needs. When I twist, I'm going to put the spoon in here. To, so that the uh, twist get held in place. Also, I can make sure that I'm twisting both the same way so that the spoon would tend to get lifted up by the twists. And then I'll do this one a few times. And this one a few times. The more twists you do, the more power you get, but you don't want to break your band. Now I'm also going to use another rubber band going through here to hold up these two sticks to make a support. The support stick fits in between the stick you twisted and the sticks of the frame. So you can see it start to come together a little bit here. You're going to have to square things up a little bit to get it to fire effectively. Now I found to get these two sticks to be squared up, it helps to put another rubber band down here. We are eventually going to put a rubber band up here to hold our support brace in place. And finally, we'll put this uh, brace up here 
this is to kind of help, in addition to holding it together, it helps keep the uh, catapult arm from going forward too far. And there is your finished onager.